If your lawnmower engine is operating correctly uh, while the engine is running, the engine should create a pressure in the engine's crankcase that is less than the outside pressure or ambient pressure. Uh, if it doesn't, it can, it can cause excessive oil consumption and um, it can also be an indicator of a worn engine. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to check for a vacuum in your engine's crankcase using a rubber stopper and a vacuum gauge. This is a tool I'll be using to uh, check for crankcase vacuum. Uh, it's just an old cheap vacuum gauge. I don't even think it's calibrated correctly. Um, I'm not looking for a specific value. Some manuals will give you, will tell you what the vacuum should be in the crankcase when the engine is running, but other manuals won't. All I'm looking for is a vacuum, so I'm just looking for needle movement. Um, when this gauge measures a vacuum, the needle moves in this direction. Uh, you're gonna need a rubber stopper. Uh, you can get these at Home Depot. What I did is I drilled a hole through the rubber stopper so I can fit it on the um, gauge like this. And that's the tool. To check for uh, crankcase pressure, what I'm going to do is start the engine, remove the dipstick, take my tool, take the rubber stopper, put it over the tube, make sure it seals, and look for a vacuum reading on this gauge. Before you do this test, make sure you wipe down the engine and get any dirt or debris that's around this dipstick off the engine so it doesn't fall into the engine oil. Also, when you remove the dipstick while the engine is running, uh, you're basically short-circuiting the uh, crankcase breather valve. And what's going to happen is the engine's going to blow a fine mist of oil out of the tube, which is kind of messy, but it's normal. Um, but as soon as you attach your tool, uh, your crankcase breather valve should start to work and you should register a vacuum on your gauge. If you can uh, somehow attach the tool before you um, do the test, you can you can prevent that mess, but um, it's not that bad and uh, I just think it's easier doing it the messy way, so um, so let's start this up and, and check the vacuum. As you can see in the video using uh, two different uh, vacuum gauges, uh, the needle doesn't move very far but it does move in the direction of a vacuum. Um, and this is on a known good engine. Uh, you've, you also notice that uh, the, the needle would fluctuate. The reason it does that is as the piston moves up and down on the cylinder it's constantly changing the, the volume of the crankcase which is constantly changing the pressure in the crankcase. But the net effect should always be um, a pressure in the crankcase that's less than the outside uh, ambient pressure, so you should always get a, a vacuum reading. If your needle moves in the other direction, then um, the most likely problem is either a bad crankcase breather valve or you could have a worn engine, which means that um, you're getting too much blow by past the, the piston and it's um, pressurizing the crankcase in the opposite direction. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.